WWE 2K20, my career. This is part four. And we are currently in NXT in 2017. So, we're going to get ready to face Candice LeRae in an Iron Woman match, I believe. And Trey's going to face Velveteen Dream in a spotlight match, which is basically whoever steals the other's finisher wins. I might have taken so, you yeah, lightly anyway. in our last match because you were injured. But I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with a title back where it belongs. Oh, really? Oh, really? All right, Candace. Now I see you wanting to talk all that Sweet trash. Fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. <laughs> That sounds incredibly creepy. Oh yeah, my god. Now. Let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm going to wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Purple, American Dream polka dots, tough enough attire, dream over boxing shorts. Well, Purple American Dream Polka Dot sounds really dumb. Tough Enough Attire might be okay. Dream over Boxing Schwartz. Oh, I gotta go with the Tough Enough Thanks Attire. Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little I advantage to. I can get to defeat him. And also, I have a couple of... I have a couple of new videos that, that are gonna be dropping today. Like right now, it's supposed uh, Friday the Thirteenth video with my with my good old friends, D Legendary. Go go subscribe to that man's YouTube channel and yeah yeah go subscribe to that man D Legendary's YouTube channel. But I got a video with him, my boy Bill and Madden King. We're all playing. We're all playing Friday the Thirteenth, and man, did we have a good time. We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has borrowed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's going to need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? Oh As my the god. Game, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. Does it automatically... Does it automatically give me... Um... Move thief or something? Like, I'm just wondering, does it automatically give me move thief? Because if it doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. Or, well, I think I'm screwed if it doesn't. Hey, at least we're starting off with the spotlight match instead of this dumbass Iron Woman match that I have to do next. So that's good.
this no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen I'll get Velveteen to yellow quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic oh okay good it automatically gives it to me Oh, Brain Buster. But it doesn't give it to Velveteen. <laughs> so Velveteen can't even win anyway. How did I miss that? Okay. Alright. Oh, destroy your face. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Discus close line. Took their head off. Too quick to catch it there. Boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. And, oh, stomping every single part of his body. Oh, he's got up go. again. He's certainly looking Brain at the moment, keeping the pressure on. Perform a corner grapple while Velveteen Dream is in the corner. Does it, does it matter what kind of grapple I do? I think I have to turn him around. But. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur, oh, a super kick. It seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry. You just sound like an amateur commentator. I have to get him in the corner, not have me, not put me in the corner. All right, I got him. Velveteen, Velveteen Snake Eyes. Only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh, He's no. got handcuffs. Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification, so this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed oh, up for. Oh, come on. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute. What's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs, and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes, and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Oh, shit. Velveteen's gonna hit him with the chair. Psych! Psych! Psych. Chair shot to the back. Oh, got him. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Velveteen to red health. I, I can do that. Statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is you, what you do in the ring. And let me tell you. God, Velveteen Chris Alexander is just assaulting much. Velveteen with the chair. He's got Dream up. Oh! Gotta be it. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, he's looking off his game now. Velveteen. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Oh, there's a kick and black mass. Lights oh. Up. To the right of the room. All right, I can do that. I just gotta get him up, and boom! And oh! And oh! And oh! Oh! Oh shit! What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? 
And Trey nails Velveteen. Oh. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's what was inside that? Real honorable Trey. Now you set it yourself. This match is a brick. So that was perfect. A brick. Oh. Matches like this, guys, a you brick to the fucking head. Have what it takes to truly get oh, extreme. shit. That's. Oh, that's. Fuck. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna let Velveteen beat me up slightly so I can get. Um, move thief, so I can end the match. Great reflexes. He might have been waiting get on your ass out of here, Dream. You know what? I got a, I got a great idea. Give me, give me like one second. I don't know if this is gonna work. I really don't know if this is gonna work, but I want to try it anyway. I gotta go in from this side. Oh, get your ass out of here, Dream. I don't know if this will work. But I want to try it. I, I want to try it, but I don't know if it's going to work. It has been no. Stick. Dream, I never said you could get up. Yeah. Never said you could get up, Velveteen. Never said you could get up. You have a comeback now. Why do you have Adam Rose's comeback? Oh my god. This man's got Adam Rose's comeback. I'm I'm done. I can't reverse. Oh my god. Isn't this my move? Isn't that one of my moves? I I, I don't remember. Pretty sure it's one of my moves though. Dream, you are not. Uh oh, he's putting it in the corner. Didn't somebody already do this to me? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna throw me in the wrong corner. Oh shit, Dream Valley Driver! Uh, I can't... I can't reverse, though. Alright, single leg. Alright, alright. Give me the chair. You know what? I know what I gotta do. I gotta throw him into the chair. Yes, there you go. Go, go back outside the ring. Grab the chair. Come back in. How are you getting up again? Stay down, you little bitch. Oh, and he stole my own move, too. He's putting it back. I was gonna say, if you put it back in that corner, to I'm gonna uh -oh. get slapped, bitch. Come here. This is my finisher, by the way, not his. Dream, get your, get, yeah, 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 get up, get up, now, oh shit, mmm, I mean, that's kind of what that move is, so, now, not that, that's not what I meant to do, I meant to put it around, put it around his neck, Oh my god, Trey, what? Thank you. My god, dude. Is it really that fucking hard? Going up top. He's taking it up top. Will this work, though? Like, I'm really curious about this now. Nope, it's not gonna. So I need to do this. And then, assuming he doesn't reverse it, I need to go up top. Once more. He wants it one more time. Purple Raymaker. Ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast 
desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Hold on, maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. Turn around. Let me turn around for you. He's going to hit me with it, isn't he? He's going to hit me with it. Wait. Witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the, the hell is this? The this doesn't even look. This doesn't look right. This looks like a sex tape. I smell a sex tape. That was nah, I'm just playing, bizarre, I'm playing, though. A huge win for Trey so, I guess Velveteen kind of showed us some respect some some reason there. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, I see. I see how we want to play this. Anyway. Here comes Maria Omega. The following contest is an Iron The Woman NXT match. the NXT Women's the Champion. NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion from New York. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Maria Omega. Here we go, gentlemen. Here comes the former champion, Candice LeRae. We're just going to skip her entrance because, like, no offense, but I've already seen it a million times Guys, already. In Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Ooh, and, uh, in an Iron Woman match is essentially like Maria Omega with the strikes already. Now she's got Loray in the corner. I'm gonna kick to the back of the head. And a German suplex. What a German suplex by Maria Omega. Now she's going to the top. Stomp, double stomp from the top, but Loray reverses and doesn't capitalize on it for some reason. And LeRae with a clothesline. Big reversal. And I went oh, went for a super kick. LeRae. Oh, super kick. And super kick to the back of the head. My God. Byron, I have to believe that Candice's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat. To keep the daredevil in Larray at bay. Yeah, well, might be better oh. to counter high flying style with mat based wrestling and submit incoming. Oh, and the double, double stomp, stomp to the, the outside. Shaken. She can withstand the punishment, though. Bringing it back into the ring. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Nice right hand. Oh, and LeRae punches her to the She's outside. She's to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Running clothesline. And LeRae with a running clothesline on the outside. Three. Carefully. And a knee, knee drop by Candice. Four. 
and into the stairs just a step quicker and back into the stairs again and now I think Maria Omega wants to get the first fall by count out but Loray gets back in right before the count of eight and Candice with a reversal and his kick to the back not what she was looking for and when it sling blade into the drop kick to the head good god she's slowing down here guys slowing down she's stuck in park Cole. Drop and now a drop kick to the head to the side of the face the champ to the top, top rope Maria Omega top rope. Swanton bomb. Move a move innovated by Jeff Hardy. Of course, others have used it over the years. You know, like Kevin Owens. I think Sami Zayn. I think Sami Zayn used it. Sin Cara used it. But Loray now top rope. A wrist lock into Hurricane Rana. There's just no way to prepare yourself for the rigors of an Iron Man match. And now, counters, and Maria Omega has got the three amigos, or at least her own version, that she borrowed from Peyton Royce. And, oh, and this takes, this takes us back to Maria Omega's first match against Peyton Royce in Calgary. Now, wait a minute. Snap German suplex. Another double super kick again. Now Loray. Wicked body shot. I want a shot to the stomach. Oh, he's right the kicks to the face. And again, this is for the women's title. And a kick to the face of Candace. Hurricane Rana from the middle rope. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Guys, she's got nothing left. And now she's going to the top again. And another du another double foot stomp. Evading possible disaster there. Now a real Oh, thank you. Float over, nice DDT. A float over DDT. Her offense is on point right now. I need to change your opponent talents. I don't know why I didn't do that. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. The arm trap cross face. She's out. She the arm trap cross face used by Candice LeRae, Johnny Gargano, and Chris Alexander at one point in time. But LeRae gets out of it. She's like, uh, and the Porkster X kick to the back. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Now Loray with our crucifix head scissor. Real Omega gets up and hits her with a drop kick. Oh yeah, I forgot. And now Maria Omega wants Loray up to her feet. Super kick into the street jacket. German suplex. Loray goes out of the ring while Maria Omega goes back in. Wait, Maria Omega just wait a minute. Oh my God, are you kidding me? 
Maria Omega went for the stomp on Candice LeRae, but looks like the referee got in the way. And now the Hawaiian salt by LeRae. And the ref's just getting back up now. Candice LeRae. Oh, a kick out at one. Uh, oh, forearm. Another forearm, another forearm. Loray. And back of the forearm again. Another one. And a sling blade. And a double super kick. Now Loray, gut buster. Loray with a gut buster, and there's only about five minutes left in this match. Now it, oh Candice went for, oh god. Candice Loray just got kneed in the face. Oh, oh she's gouging at Candice's eyes. Now she's gonna drag Candace away from the ropes. Stomping Candace as she cannot get up. There's the answer cross face again. She better do something fast. Also known as the Gargano Escape. Candace gets out of it yet again. Candace LoRay gets out of it again. And the forearm went into the oh, and the wheel kick. And a single leg drop kick. Proving tough to catch. Another scoop slam. She's got Loray. Oh, he's stomped to the chest of Candace Loray. Stomping a mud hole in her chest. Went for a drop kick. That counted. Oh, it's a flip power bomb. Not what she was looking for. No, wait a minute. She's got Loray. Oh no. No, no, no. Buckle bomb. The buckle bomb by Maria Omega to Candice Loray's back. Oh, a spinning reverse back elbow. No, wait a minute. And a swanton from the middle rope. There's about four and a half minutes left in this match, and nobody has a ball. Super kick into the straight jacket German suplex. One for the reverse back elbow again, but Loray ducked it, and Loray gets her the with a clothesline. And now Candace has got her. Where she wants her in the springboard moonsault from the ropes. Candace Lori might get her. And a kick out again for Maria Omega. And now Candace. Candace when She wants to kind of escape. After using her husband's move. Also Maria Omega and Chris Alexander's move as well. Maria Omega gets out of it. Candice, though, comes back with a running clothesline. No kick to the gut. And then, oh, and another axe kick to the back. Oh, she's got Candice again. Oh, this time with her own, her own 
Gargano escape in her own way. Candace has to tap this time. This time Candace has to tap. Maria Omega's got the first fall. But for form and LeBray. Got her with a jawbreaker. Now Candace. Oh, wait a minute. Candace with the face washes. We saw Velveteen Dream do this earlier. To Chris Alexander. And there, there's Candace with the face wash combo. Went for a pin and Maria Omega kicked right out at two. And, oh, and a gut buster and a roundhouse kick. Stomping away on Candice LeRae. And now... Oh, uh, throwing the Candice. Oh, and the kick again. And that signature kick right there. Now LeRae throws her out of the ring. And the referee starts his 10 count. Throws out with her. You're not Chris Jericho. And here we go now. Candace with an elbow to the hamstring of the leg. There's only a minute and a half left in this match, and LeRae doesn't even have a fall yet. Ray doesn't have a fall you in it on the combination of strikes again. Ooh, God. Oh, the sunset flip power bomb. DDT. That is a great reversal. Now Ray's got Omega. Wait a minute. Gory bomb. The gory bomb. There's only like 40 seconds left in the match. And Maria Omega kicks out. Oh, wait a minute. She's got LeRae. Oh, no. The three amigos that she borrowed from Peyton Royce. There's the second one. Here comes the third. And she got that one. She wants it one more time. And where is she going? Three seconds left. The, the stomp. And Maria Omega wins with one fall over Candice LeRae. Maria Omega has retained the NXT Women's Championship. Women's Champion, Maria Omega. Another win on the resume. After witnessing what we just saw. Maria Omega has retained the NXT Women's title in this Iron Woman match. Did I really just get those? Have I had those already? I don't know. Well, I know I've had the Velveteen Dream outfits already for a tray, but still. Anyway. And now this isn't current. This is. So, I'm not really gonna talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on.
Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon to be Ooh. Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I'd, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It, it has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No. You can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. Other than the food that... like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure, I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena. What are you doing, bro? And by the way, Chris Alexander, this is this is like current, I guess, or maybe should I? You know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna say this. Remember? I don't know if you guys remember. In my 2K18 my career, I kind of ended it before I even completed it. Because I got to the Royal Rumble, and I could never, and I mean never, win that thing. I had to start from number one as like a 60, 50-something overall. It was terribly hard. So, this is at the point where Finally, I had just won the Rumble. You could be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, this, I'm gonna say this I is after that Royal Rumble. For a very, very long time. So, in fact, our GM Randy Orton might not like me saying this, 
but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing Yeah, wait a minute. Fortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe. You're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. Oh. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly <laughs> introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's gonna choke the life out of you. Oh. Damn, Joe. Alright, Joe. Do Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's gonna be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is going to last very long. Unfortunately, I have to agree. Oh, had that well scouted. And then Joe went for him. Some one drop, but got reversed into a reverse DDT. Strike. Strike again by Chris. Joe turns it around to the Coquina clutch. Coquina clutch. Wait a minute. Chris Alexander pulls a Bret Hart. He pulled a Bret Hart. And wait a minute, Chris Alexander is the new Universal Champion. No way, he just won his first Universal Championship and now he's running away with it. NXT Superstar just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What happens next? Other than Trey running for his life. And now Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe's running. He's Charles Robinson at WrestleMania. No, I'm just playing. He's Charles Robinson at WrestleMania. When he starts running down the ring. <laughs> yeah. What? Alright, that's cool. Alright. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. I beated my mic real quick. Because, like... Yeah. Anywho. Who's this other... I won't even ask. Anyway. Um... <laughs> oh, God. 
This man, Chris Alexander, is hey, running away. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion. I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up, not interrupt Samoa Joe. I, I mean, congrats. Your crazy way of doing things worked yet again, but now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. This man, Samoa Joe. You find your friend before I do. You tell him this is far from over. Oh. Samoa Joe's pissed. <laughs> He's pissed. I can't even open this Gatorade bottle I have, guys. That's just how sad this is. Wait, did I get another me- oh. I guess not. thought I got another message from Chugs. Um... I can't even open this Gatorade. I have Gatorade and I can't even open it. What kind is it? Oh, it's grape. I cannot open. I physically cannot open a freaking Gatorade bottle. I mean, it's not sad considering there's a, like those ridges on the side of the cap, which make it kind of harder to open. But here comes here comes uh, Maria Omega. I really, I remember when I first played this in my career. I actually used all of Kane's Trons. I'm pretty sure when I first played this, th this, this was before I even had a YouTube channel that I have now. Oh wait, yes, I finally got that Gatorade bottle open. Oh god. It kind of hurt my fingers though a little opening it. Is a money in the bank qualifying match. Making her way to the ring from New York, Maria Omega. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. Determined looks on these faces of these women for sure. Wouldn't you agree, Byron? Absolutely, but that shouldn't come as any surprise, especially considering how intense the women's division is right now. comes Rhonda. I don't give a damn about my reputation. From Venice, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. What a you know what I feel like? This is just a theory from 2K19. But if Roddy Piper wasn't in the game, and Ronda Rousey was, and she still wore this jacket anyway. I feel like they would have put it for men and women regardless. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like they would have. Oh, wait a minute. And the, oh, and the axe kicked to the back again. Just to get a chance to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match is no easy task. Well, it's kind of like surviving an the small package driver to Ronda Rousey. Good luck with that, Red. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Just a stomps the chest. She's dazed in the corner there. Oh, wait a minute. 
And the drop kick to the face. Going to the top high risk. And now Maria Omega. Swanton bomb. Swanton bomb to the back. And the double super kick to Ronda Rousey. Now the backbreaker to Ronda Rousey. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. She's ready for something all the way from the top rope. And now, and she went for a Hurricane Rana and completely missed it. Gets out of the way and fast. Throws Rousey to the barricade on the outside. Went, and she's got Rousey. Falcon's arrow on the outside. Bringing it back into the ring. Four. A high risk maneuver. Here we go. And then the oh, one for the, the double stomp. Ronda Rousey went for a kick and out, but Maria Omega with the rapid fire kicks to Rousey. Oh, what a DDT. DDT. Wow. The DDT to Rousey. Rousey able to for the ripcord Spanish fly, Rousey. Went for something of her own. And a foot over DDT to Ronda Rousey. The standing shooting star press. He's got Rousey the standing Shiranui. The standing Shiranui. And now she's got Ronda up again from a seated position. Oh, and a revert, a lifting reverse DDT. It's rare that a competitor can steal the show in their very first match. But Ronda Rousey did just that, and she did it at WrestleMania. And Ronda went wow, for an Oklahoma slam, it looked like, but she got reversed. You know, I'll tell you, she's one of the most talented women superstars I've ever seen here in WWE. Oh, and the super kick into the straight jacket. German suplex. And now she's got Rousey. The oh, and a takedown into a double stomp. And she wants Rousey up to her feet. She wants Rousey to her feet. What the? Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. And wait a minute. Ron Samoa Joe interrupting the match. And Ronda Rousey with the Piper's pick. And Ronda Rousey has qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Controversial. Red should have stayed focused on her opponent. That's on her. Well, it appears Ronda Rousey is also somewhat frustrated. You know what? Yeah, no. This is before the 2K18 Royal Rumble. Not after it, I meant to say. Sorry, guys. My bad. Maybe Red needs to have a talk with her best friend. But Trey, or Chris Alexander, won his first Universal title. And then years later, he'll win a couple of more, actually. And a couple of years, and like a year or two later, he'll have two more. Like 2K20... This 2K20, my career, most of it's like in the past. The Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame segments or cutscenes that take place are basically taking place in like t the future, which is like 2023. Now, what the hell hey, is this? There's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Psst. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's oh not here. Oh my god. Good. Wait, Which isn't case, that the same jacket I wear when I come out? Except a different color? I've been calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard. But Joe ended up costing me my Money in the Bank qualifying match. 
You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the universal champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way, but you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take Stop. it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term Raw contract. So congrats, you got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes! I mean, yes! Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. <laughs> Why would a woman want a universal champ? Well, I mean, if your name is like Nia Jax or Ronda Rousey, or not Ronda Rousey, or China battling, you know, male superstars, because... Well, Nia Jax did enter into the men's world. I, you know what? I am not trying to hate on China or, like, be disrespectful to China or anything like that in any way. But, and, like, this is just my opinion on it. This is just my opinion. But, and y'all might... You might very, very much disagree with me on what I'm about to say, but I see Nia Jax, Nia Jax, with the way she entered the, um, Men's Royal Rumble last year, the year before, I don't remember. I think it was last year, it was last year, it was last year's Royal Rumble, but the, the one with, the one when Seth Rollins the one with that Seth Rollins won. But, um, the way I see... The way I see it with what transpired during that Royal Rumble and Nia Jax are, attacked our truth and came in, took a spot. I could kind of see Nia Jax becoming the next China. I'm not kidding. I mean, she's got the strength of China. And she's battled, she's, she's, well, I would say battled men, but she has had her moments with men. Well, we don't talk about that thing with Enzo, but anyway. Here comes the Universal Champion, Chris Alexander, on that hand. But, I can see Nia Jax becoming the next China, almost. Um... With the way, you know, Nia Jax entered the Men's Royal Rumble. And then there's also that one time, I think it was after the Look Royal the Rumble. The this was before Ambrose, this was before John Moxley left WWE. The but she had a segment with so um, Moxley back when he was Dean Ambrose in WWE, WWE obviously. Um, she had this segment where her and Ambrose had this, like, thing. And then she punched Ambrose in the back of his head, making Ambrose roll out of the ring onto his feet, of course. But I, I could kind of see Nia Jax becoming the next China, where she's just like, where she's having like these moments with men, even if it's not a match. The in oh, Brock Lesnar, my client, Paul. I mean, Paul Heyman's with him in this match, so. Honestly, I feel like, I really do feel like Brock doesn't even need Paul Heyman. I don't think Paul, I don't even think Brock Lesnar needs Paul Heyman. I really do think that. He, Paul, Brock doesn't even need Paul, in my honest opinion. The only thing Paul's good for is talking for Brock Lesnar, because Brock never wants to talk. I don't know why, 
but like you don't see Paul Heyman getting involved in Brock Lesnar's matches like you know other managers in the past like uh, Leo Rush when he was managing Bobby Lashley is a very good example of that he was one of those man and, and Mr. Fuji with Yokozuna too they were like managers who got involved in like their clients matches and helped their clients win or sometimes lose but like Mr. Fuji this one time I think he if I remember from Minneapolis, Minnesota if I remember, I think he tried to throw this powder into Bret Hart's eyes, and I think he got Yokozuna with it. And like, yeah, he accidentally hit Yokozuna with the with the uh, Fuji powder. But. Hey, no one thought he'd be in this position tonight, but he somehow... Now, wait a minute, and Trey... Or, Chris Alexander. I keep calling him Trey, because, you know, his name in the game is Trey, but it's like not. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Brock Lesnar. Uh, Brock Lesnar's got Chris Alexander. But, like I said, Brock doesn't even really need Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is of no use to Brock. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Very difficult position to be in right now. Now Brock throws him into the turnbuckle. Right throws him at throws him. Eludes the attack. Like, Paul Heyman is like very useless to Brock Lesnar in my opinion. I know I keep repeating this. I repeat a lot of I re, I do I do have this thing where I stutter and then I start repeating everything I say. It's just my thing. I I don't know why. I don't know why, but it, I'm sorry, but it's just my thing. I repeat a lot of stuff I say already, and I stutter a lot. So I don't know if it's because I have some kind of speech impediment, which I. I don't think I do, Corey, I or if I just, or if I just talk too fast, or if I just talk too fast to the point where I can't even, where like I can't even really say much, I guess. Brock just beat my ass right now, like I cannot do shit to Lesnar, I can't do nothing to him, but he's just beating my ass, look at this sh mm. And he strikes by Brock. This is why he's the most decorated athlete in combat sports history. As some people call it. I mean, I could kind of agree, but... Despite the fact that I hate Brock Lesnar as much as I do... Really? You're going to roll out Lesnar? The former running strike while Brock is in the ring. <laughs> and uh, Lesnar caught him at five. It's Samoa Joe. Wait, he's Samoa Joe. He's choking clutch. Paul Heyman with the Coquina clutch. Well, oh, well, he's not choke. Actually, choking him, as far as I could tell. Otherwise, he'd probably be swinging him around a little. And Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's going after Joe. You know, Samoa Joe just uploaded up just for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my no. Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. I don't know what general manager Randy Orton's going to say about that. But, I don't think he likes what's happening here. He doesn't like me, Chris Alexander, winning the Universal title. And he doesn't like what Samoa Joe's doing. Because of it. <laughs> um. 
Anyway, I kind of got to go take a piss. I mean, my bathroom's like right next to me. I'm all, I also apologize if you guys hear me taking a piss like this far away from my bathroom. Well, it's not too, it's not really that far away, like I said. Unless I was in my other, my last room that I was in, because I moved rooms. Um, yeah, I did move rooms, um, recent, kind of recently. So, if I went to the bathroom without my mic community, you guys definitely wouldn't hear me taking a piss. But, now, I don't know. Oh, we're at a cut. Oh, we're at a cutscene anyway. Here, let me go ahead and do the whole my player tree thing real quick before I go take a piss and before I go and uh, go and progress with the story. What's this, by the way? Combo striker. I kind of want that actually. Oh, this is for Chris Alexander too. So. Barricade breaker. I could maybe use that. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of attribute points. So, I'm alright, actually. I mean, I do have the buckle bomb on him, I think. Could be wrong, but. Table finisher. Nah, I don't want that right now. Running corner attack. I don't even remember how to do the running corner attack, um, things in this game. I really don't remember how to do that. So, like, I don't know if that's gonna be of much use to me, but, catching finisher, I'll go ahead and do that. Multiple AAs, I don't really want that, I really don't. Double finisher, tapered superplex, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, like, go ahead and get it, but, like, I'm not gonna use it. Car finisher, I'll take that too. What's this one? Corner post baseball slide. I mean, I'll go ahead and get that too, but I'm not going to use it, like I said. Possum. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll probably... I use possum a lot. Not even trying to lie. But I use possum a lot. Like, especially online. I use possum, like, a lot to the point where people just get annoyed. Like, I'm one of those real annoying possum people, if you guys ever play with me online. By the way, my name is BlackWolf03, hashtag, well, yeah, my Xbox name is BlackWolf03, hashtag 4595, is the last four numbers, I believe. Um, if you guys ever want to, you know, add me, play us in 2K20 or 2K19, for that matter, or anything online. Because I don't mind playing either 2K19 or 20. I mean, I kind of like playing 20 more because on 19, I have to use my alternate account. For those of you that watched my 2K19 My Career, I did most of it. I did most of it up until the Bray Wyatt chapter on my main account. And then I had to go on my alternate account because my main account wouldn't work on 19. My main account wouldn't work on 19, so I had to go on my alternate account, remake my whole character, which I couldn't really make his attire the way it was, so I had to change it completely. But, I had to go do all that. And, yeah. I mean, the moveset wasn't entirely different. 30 oh, I should have equipped that. What am I? Do what am I doing, bro? Oh, I gotta equip these too, actually, while I'm at it, cause like I don't have these equipped at all. Hold on. I sorry, guys. I gotta equip some some stuff that I forgot to equip for my female character. Super drop kick. I mean, I could equip that, I guess, but I don't. I don't know why, but I don't like the super dropkick um, skill. I mean, yeah, Roman Reigns uses it, I know, but I don't, I don't like it that much. I'm gonna go ahead and equip leverage pin. 
What's this? Ladder jumper. Ooh. Actually, that's going to be kind of handy for the Money in the Bank ladder match that's coming up. In the story. Barricade breaker. I want that. Fired up. Oh, I want fired up for my female character. I haven't even gotten that yet. I don't know why, but I haven't. I want exposed turnbuckle. Is this running corner attack? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I want that too. What's this one? Multiple AAs. Corkscrew leg drop. Fortify. Adrenaline buff. Double finisher. Apron superplex. Beast mode. Corner post baseball slide. Possum. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get possum. But I'm probably not gonna get to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Wait, no, maybe I will. I have one skill point left. Yes, I can get possum. Okay, good. Good. So I have... Currently equipped, I have, let me just go ahead and look, okay, so I have Possum and Resiliency, but I could also change it to Finisher, Poison Mist, Power of the Punch, Tank Buff, Electrifying, or any of these pay DLC paybacks that they just added to this game, which is Hands of Fate, where basically what it does is... It spawns these zombie hands under the ring and grabs your opponent from under the ring. Venom Strikes, which is... Inf you inflict more damage for a short period of time. Woo, which is basically like... Woo, and it's like a big old... Big, uh, big ass sonic blast every That pretty much stuns everyone except for the people it doesn't affect somehow. And then hacking is where you... Reverse to your controller, your opponent's controllers or controls or whatever. But yeah, that's that. Anyway, that's what those do. In case you guys didn't know. But. I guess that Friday the 13th video I ever uploaded. Because if I. Because if it did, I need to upload the GTA video I did yesterday too. But my Friday the 13th video is only like half an hour or something, so it probably is not going to take very long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, it did, so I got to upload the, um, GTA video real quick, which actually won't take too long It to, like, you know, go and upload. I already highlighted it, which is what I'm supposed to do. So now all I gotta do is export it, which doesn't take too long. Well, my VZW wrestling videos took kind of a bit to actually upload. I had to like upload, keep up, I had to keep exporting them over and over again. So, let me, now I'm gonna go ahead and progress with the story. Talk to Randy. Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Vipes. Vipes. Oh my god, Randy's not going to like that Look, name. I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. Vipes. I'm fucking done. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this... Jackass is your universal champion. Damn. Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't test me. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? Kurt Hawkins. No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Oh, shit. The man who I beat to become the Universal Champion. The... Technically, second time. 
And then I beat AJ after he cashed in to get my third one. Anyway, we don't talk about that. Hey, hey Carmella. I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight. Then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, but I really like those odds. Oh, well, Carmella's got the Raw Women's we title in this. those eight other okay. women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now. Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is charity. So good luck, long shots. Dude, she got her. Anyway, um, all right, so that's uploading, and yeah, all right, let me talk to Red too. Why not? Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So. How can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you want to guarantee a spot in the Money in the Bank match? It could lead to you holding a title, which I know you're dying to do so you can shut me up about winning one before you. I don't know. Accept Trey's offer to interfere. Decline Trey's offer to interfere. You know what, Trey? I don't need your help. She she don't need your help. If I can't win on Chris. my own tonight, then I don't deserve to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. All right. Good luck. If you change your mind, I'll be in catering. Got to take advantage of it while I can. This man, Chris Alexander, <laughs> be going to catering like every time. <laughs> I guess WWE food is really that good. Of course, when I'm in WWE, which I probably won't, because, like, I don't... I like wrestling. I do. But there's the slight possibility that wrestling might become bad. And I'm not a fan of it anymore, and I just could give up on it, you know, like some people do. Or... Or I'll still like wrestling. I will. Which I think I will, anyway. Um, and I don't become a wrestler. Or I don't train to. But if I did, man, I'd be really wanting to know how good that catering WWE food is. And how good that WWE money is. Because <laughs> WWE wrestlers make a bunch of money. Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar and John Cena are probably two paid wrestlers like right now. And maybe Roman Reigns. But bruh, WWE WWE man, they Vin, Vince has a bunch of money. He's rich as fuck. I bet I, I bet Cody Rhodes is too, but like Vince, he's up there. Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity? I actually kind of want to look up at one point who is the richest person in the world. I don't think Vince McMahon's gonna be up there, but there's me. Who's in this match, by the way? Oh God, it's Bailey. God damn it. Uh, baby face baby. And her opponents first from San Jose, California. Bailey. Oh, Bailey wasn't even heel yet when this game was being made. I think she like just turned heel after the game got released. I'd have to look. Well, Bailey 
is a prime example of someone who had a dream, followed that dream, and achieved greatness as a result. I think this game got released, and then Bailey turned heel like right after that. Let me go ahead and look. on the prowl. Here's Ember Moon. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon! Ember Moon has become something of a loner here. The rest of the women's locker room doesn't seem to understand her. No, oh, the war goddess isn't looking for friends. She's looking for warshippers, and she's found plenty in the WWE Universe. So this game came out. Bailey turned heel on October 11th of 2019. When was WWE? Hey guys, these women appear to be in peak oh, physical there condition we go. for this one. Well, they better be cold. Given how hot the women's division is right now, even if you're So 2K20 was released October 22nd, 2019. And Bailey turned heel on October 11th. So Bailey turned heel like right before the game came out. To put your hair up and square up. Wait, Sonya Deville? I don't remember Sonya Deville having a new entrance in this game. Or have I just never seen it? I remember her entrance. I remember her entrance being completely different on 19. Has been breaking barriers and breaking faces. She's just getting started. Yeah, Sonya Deville recently asked me to put my hair up and square up, so I showed up at the next show with a shaved head. True story. Oh my god, boy. Anyway, I remember Sonya having a different entrance in 2K19. So it must have changed it in this game. Bum, 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 bum. Elimination Chamber match, even the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. I like Sonya, I do. But they're not doing shit with her right now. Eliminate your opponents by pin or submission. Okay. I want to go after Ember, so. like it hurts like it snaps their neck back or something. She can talk trash and taunt with the best of them. Back in from the floor. No. Oh, oh. Really just Get your it. arm out of here, Ember. I just broke it too. All the way to the top. Well, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but there's Ember something I feel win. like I should do. And that arm stomp I just did. I should put that on Shayna Baszler. Unless she has it already. But I kind of want to put that. I kind of want to put that arm stomp on Shayna Baszler. The reason being is because before this was before Sarah Logan got released. But this was Sarah Logan's final appearance on Raw. It was a Money in the Bank qualifying match. This was Sarah Logan's last appearance in the WWE ever. Sarah Logan or Shayna Baszler like. Stomped Sarah Logan's arm out and broke it, or like dislocated it or something. But, but yeah, she. But yeah, Sarah Logan basically got her arm stomped out and got got it broke, got it broken. Um. So I feel like now because of that, maybe I should put that arm stomp move on Shayna Baszler. I think she broke another person's arm like the week after too. I, I don't remember, but I think she did. 
I think it was someone named Indy Hartwell. I think just local competitor or like I think she was doing a a match like I think she was doing a match with this like NXT competitor or a local competitor named Indy Hartwell and I think she like broke her arm too but by putting it into but by throwing it into the steel stairs an impressive series of moves looks like nobody's I I think I could be wrong but I think that's what she did I think that's the reason I wanted to put that arm stomp on her Shayna Baszler to me is like she's like she's very good she is and I'm actually starting to like her now too I hated her when she first like when she f she was in NXT when she was there and when she first started on Raw I hated her I hated Shayna Baszler but now I'm actually kind of starting to like her I mean, I, I don't know. You guys you guys judge me if you want for that. I really don't care. But I'm starting to like Shayna now. I don't know why. Maybe because she's like... Well, I don't know. I, I just know I'm starting to like Shayna right now. That's all. That's really all I know. Is that I'm starting to like her now. And remember... You're not Sami Zayn. Get off me, Ember. Get off my dick. A quick reversal by Bailey. Shot block to Sonny Deville. Come here, Bailey. Ah. I'm gonna try and pin her off this too. Probably not gonna work, but I I, I want to try and pin her off it, see if it'll actually win later. Oh, I actually pinned her off it. Oh, well that's interesting. And she's back in the ring now. And Ember Moon's still on like yellow health, barely up up to yellow health. So like, I know for a fact that like, if I hit my finisher on her. I know for a fact she's gonna kick out. Did, did you just see the way Ember threw me into the ropes and then Sonya Deville locked into like this weird Kimura lock on me just then? Oh, I think I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna let Ember Moon eat up Sonya. Get out of here, Sonya. But they have not done anything with Sonya Deville or Mandy Rose or Otis. Tucker, I believe, is... Wait, no, Tucker was injured. I don't think he is anymore, but... I've been doing shit with them either. Now, they haven't even done anything with Miz and Morrison, really, ever since Backlash. Like, we saw Morrison... They, we saw them last week, and Morrison got, like, destroyed by Braun, but... I gotta turn Sonya around real quick. Oh, oh, she was going for the eclipse anyway, and I fucked it up. You know what? Ember, I'm sorry. I had to do that to you. I really did. Are you gonna try and do the eclipse to me? Oh, she's pinning me again. I don't know how well it's gonna work for you, Ember. But. And I know, guys, I said I do, like, hour and a half WWE 2K streams. But when it comes to this game, they've been, like, two hours long sometimes. Sonya, go get, go get Ember. Is that... Oh, I thought that was a finisher. I think she has a different roundhouse as a finisher. I believe. Damn, Sonya. You're going out on Ember. Holy shit. Anyway. Sonya needs to go finish on Ember. She's not right. I, probably because Ember is on, like, a good amount of health still. So I don't blame her. 
Someone needs to get away. I'm gonna let them fight. I'm not gonna fight right now. I'll let them do it. I'll let them do with each other. <laughs> kind of figured Ember would kick out of that. I'm not even trying to lie. Sonya might hit her finisher. Right? She's gonna hit it. She's gonna hit it. Oh, she's going for it. Wait. She's gonna stand there, hold it, and then what? Ember gets unstunned. She's gonna fight. She stood there charging it up and didn't even hit it. She stood there and she was char- Sonya just stood there charging her finisher and she never did it. What the fu- mm. <laughs> Sonya, you're so dumb. I'm not gonna lie, but the last time I saw Sonya Deville, which was in that Ms. TV segment where she was in that suit beating up Mandy Rose, that suit was, like- that suit was nice looking. Sonya just did a finisher on Ember, so I gotta wait till she gets eliminated, then go in there, hit her with a stomp, and then it's over. Ember Moon's out. Get her with a stomp, never mind. Oh, she's going first. I, I could have totally doubled that. But I gotta use Possum on this one. I put it off Possum, which I... I put it off Possum! That's that's hilarious. I pinned her off possum. That's actually hilarious. Here is your winner, Maria Omega. Impressive victory for her here tonight. That's fucking funny. I've actually pinned a couple of people off possum. Like I was doing the six band tag with some of my friends. I on I think it was on nineteen, two K nineteen. But I think it was like a six man elimination match. And I pinned one of my friends to eliminate him off Possum. Not true story. And the second time I remember using Possum and pinning someone off it was in an in a, um, Elimination Chamber match. Where I... Championship off of Trey. This week Samoa Joe is banned from the arena, so we can't interfere on the champion's behalf again when Trey takes on Braun Strowman. We'll also get a preview of the women's money in the bank ladder match as all six participants will face off in a huge six-woman tag match. Oh snap, so we're about to do a six-woman tag match. And then, Trey's gonna battle Strowman, where Samoa Joe's banned from the arena. Either that, either that, or maybe, uh, maybe it's gonna be the other way around, where Trey's matches first, and then the woman's tag matches after. I don't really know. I, I don't really, I, I really hate six-man tags, by the way. I don't, and I kind of hate eight-man tags, too, in a way, but I don't mind, I don't mind four-man tags. I don't hate those as much. They're not as painful to do, but, like, six-man and eight-man tag matches are pretty painful to do. And I'm glad they, oh, it's, okay, so first is the women's tag match, and then it's the, and then it's. Trey's match. Oh, we got Bianca Belair. It's the world. Right I'm gonna skip all. I like to skip all the entrances in this game, guys. I, I just I do. Oh, so I'm teaming with Ronda and Bianca Belair. Not bad. I actually kind of like Bianca Belair anyway. Bad news. Someone just drew the Queen of Spades. There's Shayna Baszler. I actually like Shayna's attire, um, attire in this game. Shayna's attire in this game is pretty damn cool. Here comes the Queen! And here comes Charlotte. Queen the most overpushed woman in WWE history. I like how they announce her as Charlotte Flair, 
but on the Titantron thing, or whatever, it says Charlotte. And we got Zelina Vega, fucking Andrade look. I'm a little surprised that they included her in this my career. She's only wrestled like Zelina Vega's only wrestled like a couple of times. I've only seen Zelina, Zelina Vega wrestle like a couple of times. I don't think I ever saw her wrestle in NXT, but I have. I know I've seen her wrestle on the main roster before. I know I have. I agree. It must be someone. Well, it's me and Shayna starting out. I don't game, mind that. Your teammate will be standing across from you in one of the most physical matches in all of WWE. I want to look up Zelina Vega match to see who she's situation. actually wrestled Not before. Not only have a chance to scout the opposing team, but you can also pick up some inside info on your teammates that may come in handy in the latter match. In fact, if these women aren't thinking that way, they're missing out on a huge opportunity. Oh, wait. Zelina Vega did, has wrestled on NXT. She wrestled Candice LeRae in a match once. I didn't, I didn't know that, but damn. I'm gonna go ahead and just tag right in now. someone real quick. Hold on a second. Nope, Ronda Rousey works. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> I could see this big... Oh, shit. Two teams I could see, if me and Ronda were actual tag team partners, Ronda and no my female my career character, I could see that being a tag team finisher for us. Anyway, well, Ronda's beating up Shayna. I'm gonna look up some matches. I'll, I'll, oh, Shayna and Ronda are the four horsewomen too of MMA. So Zelina Vega wrestled Lana. In a match on SmackDown, Candice LeRae in a match on NXT back in 2018. Oh, Zelina Vega wrestled Bianca Belair back in April of this year. Uh, Charlotte's tag team. Zelina Vega and Andrade face Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch in a tag match. Oh, okay, I see. So, Candice LeRae wrestled Zelina Vega on NXT. She wrestled Ronda twice on SmackDown. She was in a mixed tag match with Andrade facing Rusev and Lana, another mixed tag match against R-Truth and Carmella. She was in a women's battle royal. She wrestled Becky Lynch and John Cena in a mixed tag match. It, she wrestled in an 18-person mixed tag team match. Which, I mean, okay. She faced Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch in a mixed tag match. She wrestled Sin Cara and Carolina against Andrade and Zelina Vega. She wrestled Bianca Belair. And then she wrestled against... Bianca Belair and the Street Profits with Angel Garza and Austin Theory. Back when Austin Theory wasn't a disciple. So she's had her fair share of matches, but she hasn't had a lot. She's mostly like. She's mostly in. Oh, wait. She even wrestled Piper Niven on um, NXT. Or on the. Um, in the World Collide Tournament. Okay, so she wrestled in the World's Collide Tournament, or World's Collide event against Piper Niven from NXT UK. That's interesting. And Zelina Vega was named Rosita on, on the Indies for some reason. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to be in the match. No. Ta tag, tag Ronda back in. Thank you. Anyway. And she she wrestled she wrestled in the indies this indies wrestling place called Title Match Wrestling against Jillian Hall, which I know who that is too. I know who Jillian Hall Hall is. She was a WWE wrestler back in like I would say around the time PG era started. I don't remember, but. I remember. Finds its I remember Jillian Hall was a WWE diva back when 
you know, when they were called divas back in the day. There's the escape, guys. I you know. think that move just took a little anyway. too long to materialize. Yeah, she wrestled. And it's Charlotte with the reversal. Oh, Zelina Vega she played as someone in the. Does Zelina Vega play as AJ Lee or something? Alright, well, so, Zelina Vega hasn't had a bunch of matches, but she's had a show. Anyway, Ronda Rousey's pinning Charlotte. We all know Bianca Belair, Ronda Rousey, everyone, everyone here in this match has had more matches than, Ron, than Zelina Vega has in her whole career. Charlotte Flair's had, like, a bunch ton of matches. So has Shayna... Well, actually, Shayna Baszler was actually a NXT Women's Champion twice for a very long time, too. She, Shayna Baszler has to be one of the best NXT Women's Champions ever, but also one of the worst, I guess? I don't know. But she's, she has to be one of the longest reigning NXT Women's Champions ever. She has to be one of the longest reigning women, NXT Women's Champions of all time. She really does. With like how long she's held, how long she's held that title in her both of her reigns. I just punched her too. Ronda, tag me in. I want to be in the match now. Ronda, Ronda. Actually, no, 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 no. no. Go ahead, Ronda. No. Go ahead. Piper's pit. I like how Zelina Vega has not even been tagged in. Zelina Vega literally, she has not been tagged in this whole match. She has not been tagged in the whole match. I swear to you. Also, apparently, Billy Kay has Zelina Vega's moveset in this game, which is kind of funny. Up, Pipers. I don't really... If there's one thing I don't understand about Ronda Rousey in this game... Is the fact that she has a Piper's Pit standing up. Actually, two different variations of a Piper's Pit standing up as a signature. And then she has this one from the ground where she rolls into it and picks the, picks the person up as a finisher. Which, I mean... She also has two new variations of the arm bar. But she only uses one now. She only uses one variation of it. Angelina Vega's finally been tagged in. Wow. What? Ronda, I want... Oh, why did I do that? She could have made a hot tag to me. No, why did I fucking do that? Oh, she tagged in Bianca Belair for some reason. Yes. Bianca, wait no. I don't want to be down here. I want to be on the apron. And I don't want these steps either. Bianca Belair, you're not Bobby Lashley. If that's what you're thinking. I, if I remember that solid suplex is actually like one of the older versions. I know the Stalling Suplex three and four, the two newer ones. Like, to stop tagging in Ronda. Tag me in. For fucks. Oh God. D dang, Zelina! He's got. Oh. You're not gonna get her that easy. She wow. saw the opening and got the shoulder up. Desperately God. needs to make a tag here. Oh, Charlotte's in, and she has a finisher too. Quarter. So Ronda really, really needs to launch. I, actually, Ronda. Uh, Ronda gets hit with a finisher. She'll get resiliency. So actually, she's not completely screwed. Tag me in now, Ronda. Don't worry about tag team. Oh my god, she's gonna tag in Bianca Belair again. No. Never mind, she's gonna do that. Ronda, I want in this fucking match. Ronda? If you don't tag me in, I'm literally going to snap your freaking neck. I'm going to snap your neck, Ronda, if you don't tag me in now. If you tag in Bianca Belair. Again, I'm going to snap your leg. She tagged herself in. I'm done. No, I want in. 
I want in the match. Tag me in now. She's gonna throw her in the run. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, she's gonna... Um, Bianca! Tag me in. Mom Bianca, Mom Bianca. Yes! Thank you. I've been wanting to get in for the past five minutes. Charlotte's not going to hit a finisher on me. She's not going to hit a finisher on me. She can't. Charlotte's suplex. So it looks like... So it looks like in this match, I don't have any specific objectives. So it looks like, to me... That it doesn't really matter who wins the match. The Venus fly trap. She returns the favor there. So, why do you have springboard Zelina? Did I just power bomb the shit out of Zelina Vega. Holy shit! I just power bombed her, like bad. Oh shit! Stop! Bam! Charlotte, you're not doing your finisher on me. No, 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 no. Oh, never mind. She just kicked me in the gut. Now she's gonna. Yeah, get out! Get out! Yes. Okay, good. Lita, if you can just get off the apron, please. She. Yes. She missed the spring of But hey, if I if I lose this match, I won't even be mad. Because like it doesn't really tell me to win or not. So I don't it, it won't hurt me at all. Like if I lose this match. It it won't matter. Wait, so this is... Come on, come on, come on. Damn it, Charlotte! Get the fuck off that apron. You overpushed piece of crap. You tagging Bianca. She has a signature. I don't anymore. I'm close to getting another one, but I want Bianca in for now. She, she gonna do it, actually. Like, she's just one more. I'm. Where is Charlotte at? Hold on. Where did Charlotte go? Where did Charlotte go? Oh, she's right there. Oh, she's she's right there. Okay. Go, get, Charlotte, get over. Mm. That's you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna get back on the apron. I think. Cause like if I get tagged in, I don't want to have to like. Oh, uh, Bianca, B Bianca Belair is out of reversals now. So if she gets reversed, which she just did, then she's fucked. Oh, Shayna's got to finish her too, but Bianca Belair is at green health still, so she should be fine. I don't want to go in the ring. Nope, don't want to. Charlotte has three finishers somehow. Shayna has one finisher. And Zelina Vega's almost at a signature. How does that even work? Charlotte, what an expert. Charlotte, Charlotte just got another signature, too. What the fuck is this shit? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hurry up, hurry up. Go to Charlotte. Go to Charlotte. Go to Charlotte. Go to Charlotte. Come on, come on. Wait, so... Wait, is that a... Oh, it must be a regular move for it. Yeah, it is, because... She has that spear, and then she has something else. I don't remember what, but she has it. She has the spear, and then she has, like, something else. It's not the natural selection or the figure four. It's something. Unless it's just a spear. But. Wait, no. It's that big boot that she does, isn't it? It's that, it's that big boot that she does, isn't it? Isn't that her signature? Second signature? Come on, Bianca. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, wait. That's what you went for. I forgot. I forgot Bianca's signature is a spear and something else. I don't remember what. I'm a... 
I'm the freshest person in this match. Like, me and Zelina Vega are the two freshest people in the match. Like, literally, me and Zelina have barely even been attacked. Like, oh, that's her move? Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that Meteora was her version. Because I know Andrade has that other one. I thought that Meteora was just like a very a new variation they added into the game. I didn't know that was Zelina Vega's actual version. But I cause I know Zelina Vega does Andrade's whole move set. And the instinct from Zelina Vega on display. And a spinning back kick too. I know Zelina Vega does like pretty much Andrade's entire move set. Pretty much, but I didn't know she had that Meteora as her fucking signature like I'm sh I was like towards. real sure that she had one but I didn't know it was that one I thought I was like Andrade's one from 2k19 well he still does it in this game but come on curb stomp mm. do I have, don't I have a dirty pin on this character I think that might be Trey I gotta move her away from the ropes real quick There we go. Nice. Yes, finally. This stream's been going on for almost two hours now. But don't worry. There's, there's probably going to be a lot of 2K20 streams today. Since really I'm not talking to my, anyone really. Like too much. Why is Bianca doing that? Won't even ask. Won't even ask. But yeah, I got my own 2K20 My Career timeline that I have going on, so... Yeah. And actually, the farther I'm going through this, the farther I'm going through this career, there's Chris Alexander's match against Braun, which apparently Samoa Joe's supposed to be banned from the building. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Strowman to yellow health. I can do that. God. I like how the regular... I like how the mass destruction can knock Strowman down, but if I did the regular black mass, it probably wouldn't do shit to Strowman. Oh god, Strowman's got the punches, and now the peel throw again! Ow! Strowman, shouldn't be doing this to your, your universal champ, bro. Shouldn't be doing this. You do what you want. I guess, but... D you didn't just slap me! Nope. Nope. Don't appreciate that. Yes, I actually got that, too. Oh, me and Braun have the same paybacks, too. Wait, this is the game where oh um You see I'm pretty sure this is the game where Braun Strowman's moveset is slightly edited. Like Like with other, some other people's in this game's like um Riley Flashes and Cole Quinn's and Velveteens and fucking I don't know. Amazing. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about what? It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, this is the game where I put the Leo Rush. Braun Strowman, Corey. I say the Monster Among Men 
I just remember that. I'm pretty sure this is the game where I put the Leo Rush Frog Splash on Strowman. Form a running strike while Braun is in the ring. Oh, so I'm doing the same objective as if I was facing Brock like I did the last, like, last time. Power slam, it's gonna be over. Over, it's done. Oh. Oh. I had some rare free time on my hands. So I thought, Oh, Samoa Joe's do? banned from... Well, you might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of men's slow pitch softball. And I actually remembered, Braun, that you Basically, Samoa Joe got banned from the building, so he found some other time. way to interfere, which In was fact, he had so many home what you're seeing now. That they called him the crusher. So I decided to come to oh, your and shit. see the crusher in action. Wait. And he did I not did see. not realize now, this, but now that I'm looking over, behind Samoa Joe's shoulder and that, that I'm seeing I mean, the background, see what he's of with isn't the that the... Hold I on. Only fair that I show him what I can do. Isn't that the <laughs> same baseball stadium that Chris Alexander <laughs> and... Um, he's going to try to hunt down Samoa Joe. And he's also going to get counted out. It's all over. Isn't that you be kidding me? Trey has to be the luckiest guy on the planet because yet again he manages to escape. Isn't it the same baseball stadium that Tre that Chris Alexander, Maria Omega, Russell Lita, and Jerry Lawler at in like twenty twelve or whatever? Isn't that the same one? Or if I was playing this by the actual my career timeline, then it would be like twenty fifteen or something, but I'm not. I have my own timeline for this my career. I mean, I keep kind of changing it, but still. Trey's universal first ten, first universal title in this timeline. And then he wins a couple more. Like throughout the throughout 2K19's my career, which was like 2018. This is 2017. So this was like 2k18 my career timeline except except i never even won the universal title in 2k18 i i, I think they won the nxt title wait did i forget to write that down that well wait down again. hey it's not my fault samoa joe is such a big fan of softball assuming braun Strowman doesn't end up in jail for whatever he does to joe you're going to face braun again at money in the bank well actually before money in the bank you're putting the Universal Championship match on the kickoff show? Not exactly. The only way I can guarantee Samoa Joe won't be involved again is if your match takes place before the show when the doors are locked and no one else is in the building. It's going to be an empty arena match. Hey, at least this won't be my first empty arena match since I had one before against Jerry Lawler. When was that? Oh, it was in a dream I had, but still, good practice. Speaking of dreaming, I'm gonna go rest up for my big match. Later, Vipes. I mean, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. <laughs> this man. I remember Randy Orton was General Manager in the old SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 Road to WrestleMania, I believe. I think it was like the John Cena one. <clears throat> but... Okay, I gotta think of other stuff. Uh, I don't. Let me think. Let me think for a minute. Yeah, you know what? I think Chris Alexander is is a. Welcome to the kickoff show for Money in the Bank, where in just a few moments. Oh, I should have ended the stream there at that one last part. Oh well. I, I don't know. Will not know. happen again tonight. He's gonna have to win this match on his own, which I don't see happening. The deck is certainly stacked against Trey like it has never been before. Yeah. So basically, Chris Alexander has never won. There's a few things Chris Alexander has never won. Oh, I forgot to write down something else for his... Uh, so basically, I'm keeping track of 
every accomplishment that both my micro characters have done throughout for Chris Alexander this would be everything from 2K17's my career to 2K20's for Maria Omega it's just 2K20's but Chris Alexander as far as I remember Wait a minute, didn't he win the... I gotta go back and watch the 2K18 My Career at some point. And is for the WWE Universal... So, I'm gonna skip the entrances, and then I'm gonna pause the match real quick, because I have to go to the bathroom, like, real bad now. Let me go ahead and get this started. I'll pause the match real quick. I'll be right back. So I gotta go to the bathroom.
Sorry guys, I'm back. I had to take a bathroom. I had to take a bathroom break real quick. I needed to... I needed to go take a leak. Um... I also wrote down a couple of things Chris Alexander did that I forgot about. Which was, in 2017, he won the NXT title, and in... 2017 also, he won the Intercontinental title for the first time, so... Not 2018, 2017 was his first the Intercontinental title reign. Um, there are a few things Chris Alexander has yet to do, actually. If you guys didn't know. Um, there were a couple things that Chris Alexander did didn't hasn't done yet, which was when... Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Also, I forgot to write something else down. Let me see. One, two, at Samania. So, Chris Alexander has main evented WrestleMania Whoa, twice. Get it. Oh, wait. oh, yeah, I forgot the misdirection clothesline on him. Uh. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot I put the Hulk Hogan big. Absolutely I forgot I put the Hulk Hogan big boot on Braun. He's taking charge of that. For the championship. Ah shit. One. Plenty of fight left. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Mm, so I wrote down some things that I forgot outside. Chris Alexander did. Either that or I knew he did them, but forgot to write them down. Especially when there are no countouts. Which was, if you guys go back and watch my 2K17 mod- Oh god, I forgot I added that on I forgot I added that to Strowman. Oh god. I forgot I added- I forgot I added the grand backhand and the grand uppercut to fucking Braun Strowman. Oh god. I even think I added the choke slam toss to him too. And the choke slam lariat slam or something. The choke lariat slam. But I forgot. Whoa, dodged that one. I forgot Flat about something. So Challengers a little worse for wear now. Taking I wrote down that he was a, he's a two-time Intercontinental Champion, even though I had written down that as one time. I wrote down he had a reign as NXT Champion for a bit. And I wrote down he main he main evented WrestleMania twice once again once against AJ Styles, the other against actually wait no. Both WrestleMania main event matches he's had he's main evented against AJ Styles. That's right. And he, and 2016, which was his first WrestleMania. He won two matches at WrestleMania, once against once against John Cena for the U.S. title, which he had at that time, and then he then he left WWE, and then he won the main event of WrestleMania against AJ Styles in a regular match, which I feel like that should have been a U.S. title match, but. It, it's fine. I don't really. I'm not mad. But he reversed the. He reversed the. Not the stomp, but. But the face buster that I usually do. He reversed it. Yes, I reversed his sing. I reversed his signature now. Get the hell out of the ring, Strowman. Go ahead and just the championship go after him on the, the outside. Oh god, he's got him up. Mm. I like the Metal League driver. I do. Another big move. 
And I like this move too. This move I like. Face Buster! Man! God that damn. Was vicious. Um go and just throw him in the ring. Get him up. Get him up real quick. And then BAM. Trey's giving it everything he's oh, shit. got to take he's... down the monster among men. Oh Bro, shit, power slam again. again. He felt this fit. Uh, Samoa Joe was hiding under the ring. Braun just snapped Braun just... back like it was. Damn! Braun just broke that back. Strowman can Joe tried it again. It's over. Braun Strowman is your new universal yeah. champion. Finally, so what's happened now? For a change. And Samoa Joe is now realizing uh, what transpired. And he is uh, not happy, to say the least. So, in this timeline, what has happened is that Chris won his first Universal title against Joe, which would this would take place in the 2K18 My Career, technically, if that's what this was, and then got defeated by Braun, who held it for like a year, and Chris Alexander came back and beat him for it at an Elimination Chamber in 2018. Then lost it to Styles. At, then lost it to Styles at Fastlane that year. Then won it back at WrestleMania that year in 2018. Actually, technically that would be 2019. Yeah, that would be 2019. And then, yeah, that's that. That's that. So I'm sorry about your title, but there's no shame in losing to Braun, especially with how it went down. I'm not that upset about losing the Universal Championship. Even though my run was short, it was memorable. I'm more disappointed that my time on Raw has come to an end. What do you want? You couldn't hang on to the title just a little bit longer, so I could take it from you. And whose fault is that? I did everything I could to preserve my rematch. But it wasn't enough. Title or no title, I'm still going to choke you out. Let's do this. Oh. Hey, that's enough. Come on now. Mm. Hey, take it easy. Damn, I Randy and the you officials. These past few weeks. Not only did you lose the universal title to someone who wasn't even a Raw superstar, but then you went to the extreme lengths to interfere in multiple championship matches. So you've left me with no other choice. You're fired. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. This isn't over. Because the moment you feel safe and stop looking over your shoulder, I'll be oh. back to destroy you. Make sure he leaves Randy immediately. Orton. I spoke to the doctor. He thinks you'll be fine to compete next week. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll let NXT know. No, I meant on Raw. I've decided to give you a permanent contract. Really? Why? I know I've been hard on you. But I do see some potential. Your in-ring skills need work, but you can be entertaining at times. Oh, see? That's what I've been saying all these years. I put the entertainment in sports entertainment. I'm going to leave before you say anything else that makes <laughs> me regret my decision. <laughs> Thanks, Vipes. I can call you that now, right? No. I'm happy for you. This is pretty awesome. I have officially... Arrive. You know what's funny? Yeah. Randy you know, Orton is the like man that... that... No more being indiscreto. <laughs> well, I'm ready for people to know who I am. And hey, now that I'm going to be on TV every week, maybe even my real parents will see me. I should start leaving tickets for them at every big event, you know, just in case they show up. And this is all thanks to you. Oh my yeah. god. Well, <laughs> I remember this I part from when I first played the... Everything. First played now, this only one thing before I became a YouTuber. We go out there and win the Money in the Bank ladder match. We... Oh my god. I appreciate god. the support, but I need to do this on my own. You sure? With Selena Vega in the dude. match, there's a good chance Andrade will get involved at some point. Maybe. Wait, I need to check a message. Voice message. No.
So, how about you stay back here? My and if friend Andrade just said. Fear, then you take him out. Deal? Deal. My friend is high. I got your back. My friend Pex on the is high right now. The package deal is together again on Raw. Already got one contract. Got a contract. About to get another. I'm about to get another. I need soon. a real parent soon. All our dreams are coming true. Dreams are coming true. <gasps> Well, I guess oh my now that God. I'm all alone, I can properly celebrate. I got a raw contract. The ink's dry, so I'm <laughs> back. I got a raw contract. I'm kind of hungry. I need a snack. Yeah! I got a raw contract. I got a raw contract. I think I left my phone in. You're the worst. Randy! <laughs> I got a raw contract. I got a. Hey! Okay. He's break dancing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what that man was <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm fucking dying. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm fucking dead with what Chris Alexander was just doing there. I like how Chris Alexander in this game looks like a total heel, but he acts like the biggest baby face in this game. I'm not even lying. My God, what do you want now? Oh, <laughs> oh shit, it's Hall of Fame time, bitches. I don't think so. Not that I'd know what they'd look like. I always pictured them looking like me, but older, and in my mom's case, more female-ier. All these years of leaving them tickets after I was signed to Raw, just hoping they'd see me on TV and show up. And now tonight, they finally will. It's unbelievable. I'm surprised that 2K20 was able to include... I'm surprised that 2K20 had the money to like, or the or like 2K. I'm surprised 2K had enough money to include as much people as they included, like, like as many of the models as they included. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm surprised they had as much money as they did to include all of these different models in this game. Like all the 2K WWE models or superstars and all the and all the um, people that they included like extra models like all the people at the Hall of Fame and stuff like that. Oh shit. Oh, this is where. Oh, this is where this, it's basically starting this back up again to where, to from where it ended when we first started this. Oh, interesting. So they kind of left it on a cliffhanger. So you start off the of my career in this match, and now you kind of like resume this match from where it like ended the first time. That's kind of interesting. Uh. Of course, I don't know why it's like this. Obviously, don't ask me. But, oh shit, she's got her arm. Armbar on the ladder. Oh. Armbar on the fucking ladder. Get your ass down, Rhonda. And I fell off. Oh, no. match now. I just fell. Anyway, um, we don't talk about that. Win the match by grabbing the briefcase. Byron. I can do that. It might take me a bit, but I can do that. Charlotte, get out of here. Oh, everyone's on red health now. Oh, that's kind of interesting. DDT. Get your ass down, Charlotte. Hey, if you can't get motivated when a chance at the title is on the line, you don't have a pulse. Wait. How am I supposed to fucking grab it? I'm so confused right now. Oh, I can't. 
I, you're telling me I can go to the top of the ladder, but I can't jump off it. Wait. Oh, God. Ow. That kind of hurt Charlotte. Ronda and Shannon going after each other, just like they did in the six-woman tag match. Stun gun. You're not stunning. St mm. Okay, I won't even ask. But Charlotte, like I was going to say, Charlotte, you are not stunning Steve Austin. You are not stunning Steve Austin. And, and if you guys didn't know, fun fact, Stone Cold Steve Austin was called Stunning Steve Austin back in his early WWE days, maybe WCW, or whatever. Um, or maybe even, I think he was at ECW for a bit too, but, um... He was actually called Stunning Steve Austin, and he had this Hollywood gimmick kind of thing, I think. And he was actually in a tag team called the Hollywood Blondes with the Brian Pillman. I almost said Brian Kendrick. I don't know why I said that. But she was in this tag team called the Hollywood Blondes with Brian, uh, K Brian Pillman. I, now I almost said Brian Cage. Oh, it's, <laughs> she just took them out. Damn, Shayna, you don't need to do all that. And I knocked down the ladder. Amazing. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I keep hitting. I'm trying to hit Charlotte, not fucking Zelina. And I'll take it, but like, that's not even who I was trying to hit. Super kick to Shayna. Mm. Come on. Get off the okay, I over stop this. Going to get that ladder up. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Come on, Charlotte. Fuck it. Why the fuck? Would you throw me out of the Oh, Rhonda's going for the briefcase now. Zelina and Charlotte are double teaming me. How did Ch how was Charlotte even strong enough to push them both down by herself? Explain that logic to me. My outside finisher is a submission. Or both of them are the same. Here, now it's gonna let me reach for it, really, bitch. And I got one, and then Bianca just knocked me off it. Get off me, Shannon. I don't care about you. Um, actually, I mean, yeah, I don't. Oh, that Charlotte, you got lucky by reversing that. Mm. So, Shayna picked me up as I was getting up. Oh, damn, Shayna. And the instinct from Zelina Vega on display. Get off that apron. This is probably going to take a bit to like complete. Because of uh, fucking ladder match. Zelina. Zelina. If you don't get off my ass, Zelina. I'm going to fucking kill you. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, we don't talk about that. We, Bianca, oh god, damn, Ronda, you just got fucking tossed. This is going to be damn. One way or the other. How do you? Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's LB. It's always been LB. Moon Soto, Zelina Vega. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah. We gotta get Charlotte. Ch Charlotte, give me this ladder. Get your ass out of here. Wait, let's just throw this back outside the ring. I really don't want to do a three-hour stream, though. I want this match to end. Uh, I should have stopped it. But I should have stopped it before the Trey and Strowman match. I really should have. But if, but you know, that, that's my bad. That's my bad, guys. Really, that's my bad. Um, how long is this stream going on for? I know it's been going on for over two hours. Two and a half almost. 
This man chugs. Zelina's gonna win. Zelina's gonna win. Zelina and me just fucking clean move from Shayna. I don't even know what clean move they're talking, they're referencing. But all right, get off of me, Charlotte. I have like a suicide dive OMG on this character too. I think I have one, but I don't think I've done it yet. Oh my God, Zelina, stop throwing me out of the fucking ring. You tried to, you just didn't. Get, get up. Get up. Charlotte's gonna win. How? Who missed that? Please explain how I missed that. Get, get out of here, Charlotte. I know I might be. I know I might be totally. If she could just pull the briefcase down, she will win this thing. Zelina, I see you behind me, Zelina. I'm not dumb. I see you behind me. Come on, win, please. Win, please. No, I had two more to get. No. Mm. I hate ladder matches in this game. I hate them. Oh, but you're, you're telling me. That you're gonna let Bianca set up a bridge ladder over on that side, but I can't set one up over on the side where I just got thrown out. Are you high? Get Rhonda, Charlotte. What are you doing, Charlotte? Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Rhonda didn't even get one. Ron Charlotte was gonna spear her from the top. Charlotte, well, dang, Charlotte, you didn't have to do all that now, did you? D nope! Piper's pit to Shayna. I'm gonna just go with it. I'm gonna just let y'all fight, you know what I mean? Do I have hammer throw on this one, on this character? I do. Alright, well, that's good. I can, we got some time, though. Let me watch Shayna real quick. You guys have some time to go and get the briefcase now. Come on. Oh yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This could be it, guys. Smart move here, Cole. Let's see if it pays off. Okay, got one. Yes! Red is now yes! Money in the bank briefcase, which entitles yeah. her to a future championship match. That was a hard fought battle the entire way. Respect to all of these women. Hold on, Rhonda may not be. Why is Rhonda climbing the ladder? Rhonda, why are you climbing the ladder? A sign of oh, shit. From Ronda Rousey. I'm sure that means a Got lot that respect, to though. This would be a huge night for any superstar, but considering she's still relatively new to WWE, it's that much bigger for Red. Yeah, true. Red is still kind of the. Oh my God! I just saw the ladder glitch for a split second. I just saw the ladder glitch for like a split second. Split second. Oh shit. Oh, is this the part where I think this is the part where um you know what? I'll let you guys see for yourself. I'll let you guys see for yourself. I'm not I I'm not gonna spoil anything. Is my girlfriend on? No, she's not. Oh my friend's playing Half Life two on his PC or something. Alright, I know that's cool. Oh yeah, got that good old photo shoot. Oh yeah. Sorry, hold on a second. 
Hey, sorry to interrupt. Are you kidding? Any time. Oh I mean, shit, not that Mickey I have James. Shoots all the time. That would be obnoxious. Unless you think that would be good for my career. I just wanted to congratulate you. I mean, what you did out there tonight was pretty incredible. You have no idea how much that means. I grew up watching you. Well, now I feel ancient. <laughs> no, I, Mickey James. I just mean, you're one of the reasons I'm here today. See, I have this list of goals with my friend, and one of them is win money in the bank ladder match. I know all about your list. You're kind of a big deal at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm I starting to wonder to cross off where's Mickey bank James only been? For guys, but thanks to women like you paving the way, I did it. And now I can pursue something else on my list. Win the Raw Women's Championship. Sorry, I'm rambling on like an idiot. <laughs> no, keep rambling. I mean, seriously, at this stage of my career, hearing things like that is way better than winning a championship. I'm sorry, but did I just hear you thank her for paving the way? You must have forgotten. I was the first women's Money in the Bank briefcase winner. And silly too. Didn't you need a guy to help you do all that? That's how I remember it. That's not the point. What I'm saying is you're just a cheap knockoff that will never compare to the original. So don't even bother attempting to cash in that briefcase. You should just hang on to it as a souvenir. Or, better yet, melt it down into braces for those jacked up teeth of yours. Actually, why don't you step aside so this poor photographer doesn't have to take any more pictures of your mangled face. Get her. Yeah, get her. Come on, Carmella. The former Money in the Bank briefcase holder and current Raw Women's Champion Carmella is going toe to toe with the new briefcase winner backstage. Yeah, this certainly escalated quickly. Oh shit! Get oh, you in that wall. The the night off, but I guess she had other plans. Changes her fortune there. Come on! Oh, damn it! Whoa! Well measured. I think they changed how backstage looks in 2K20, which, or unless that's oh just no, in this my career, then maybe I'm wrong. But evading possible disaster there. All right, come on, come on, we gotta, we gotta go this way and try and find a weapon to use against Carmella. You know what? This will do. We gotta get Car Carmella to yellow health though, anyway. So. Get that chair! I forgot about that glitch. The oh, chair stands no up mercy. whenever you do that. that I forgot it, it does that like in this game. Deep. She just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? <laughs> For the, toward the interview area? Alright. I don't even know where that is. I think it's like down here though, isn't it? Like down here as you're as you're walking this way, isn't it? Like somewhere down here. Why is that right there? Okay, there's catering right there. I think it's down here as you like go over here. Pretty sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, Carmella. Carmella's got the briefcase. Oh. Wait, she's running with the briefcase. Give me that back. Yeah, I think my both my ringside finishers are submissions. But they're gonna be elbows since there's no submissions in backstage brawls. It's gonna be just an elbow drop, which is it's whatever. Whatever. It's all good. Mm. Damn it, Carmella. She gets her for a second time. Third time's a charm, Cole. Remember that as this match goes on. Come here, Carmella. Just gonna hit you with my six. Carmella with a nice Hi. reversal. Oh, able to counter. Yeah, I gotta get over. Get, hit your finisher on Carmella near the garbage truck in the park. Oh, god damn it. So I have to hit a fucking elbow over near over here. Well, I gotta make Carmella like waste her reversals then, which I mean I can do that. It's not that hard. See, look, she's wasting them already, and she doesn't even have the payback to do anything about it. So, 
Super kick. Mm, yes, German. She has no reversal, so now I can hit my finisher right here. Did that not count? <laughs> did that not count? Wait. How did that not count? What? Gonna get over. Boom. What? Beautiful. That didn't... How did that not count, bruh? What is this game? That... Did that seriously just, like, not even count? Even though that's my ringside finisher? And that's the only ringside finisher I have? Did that really just, like, not even count? Like, what? I'm just gonna go ahead and just... With a nice reversal. What, is it, what is it exactly said? Hit Lear Carmella near the garbage truck. Once you have a finisher in stock, use it on Carmella by pressing... I did that. I legit did way. that. Try it again. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a and if it doesn't work, gets her again. Man, she really I think I'm gonna have to like. God dang it! I knocked her out with the chair. You know what? Let me do something real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna do something real quick. I think what I should probably do, I'm actually going to end the stream like right now anyway, so give me like, I'll be right back guys.